Hey guys, Johnny Mac here. Um, just thought I'd do another quick video. Uh, what you're looking at right now are my favorite spinners that I use for northern pike fishing. Right there. Okay, this is this video is mainly about inline spinners. Uh, I'll have a separate video about my favorite spinner baits and um, chatter baits. But right now, this is my mainstay of my pike fishing arsenal regarding spinners. And as you can see, most of them are MEPS. I love the MEPS spinners. Uh, they have great, great hooks. Um, they tend to hook up in the large part of the, in the corner of the jaw on a large pike. They don't get taken deep for some reason. I'm not sure why that is. They're durable. Um, I like the colors. And... Um, I did a video earlier about the Black Furies, uh, which are, I would say, my favorite pike lure and the lure that I've done the most damage to large pike on. <clears throat> In fact, I use so many of them, I have to go out and buy them by the six or seven at a time. Okay, so let's start over here. This is the best Black Fury spinner, as far as I'm concerned, for the, where the waters I fish. I've caught a couple of pike over 40 on these and many in the in the high 30s on this color black fury dressed squirrel tail bucktail whatever uh size five uh yellow dots pattern black with yellow dots i don't know why this seems to outperform the other black furies not sure why at least for where i fish now when you start using them a lot and you're catching a lot of pike they start to look like this <laughs> if they're not outright bent in half. Great lures. Again, these hooks, they go right into the corner of the jaw. They're sharp. I sharpen them, by the way. Every couple of weeks, I sharpen these things from doing a lot of fishing. Okay, moving on. You got the other Black Furies. You got one in white. White and black. Got a chartreuse pattern here. And one in orange-red. That one does... I do pretty well with that one, too. Um... Great lures, great lures. Okay, moving along with the MEPS. Um, last year, the year before, I think I started getting into the MEPS Aglias. These are double bladed, size fives. I don't go below five for pike. I use below five, three and four for other species of fish, and I still accidentally catch pike, but I don't target them with that small of a spinner. Um, again, these hooks are great, um, and the bucktails seem to hold. Um, these Aglias are great in the weeds because these light these blades are lighter than the black fury and the two of them spinning together give out the spinner a lot of float you can keep them above the weed beds bring them in just you know two or three inches the surface of the water sometimes with a lot of flash i don't know if you've seen the big musky killers um, um with the double cowgirls double spinners like that, really big long spinners. These are kind of like that, only they're more compact and smaller, but I've caught big pike on them. Okay. There's another one in um, Fire Tiger, Chartreuse. Uh, great spinners. They're light. I guess the only drawback with these would be throwing them. They don't throw as far as the Black Furies. They're lighter. So, that's a small drawback. It's not that much difference in distance. Okay, moving along from there, I've got some of these beat-up Vibrax uh, Blue Fox spinners. These are good, too, but they tend to be lighter. They're fluted, so they tend to hold higher in the water. So if you're trying to fish deep, um, these spinners aren't really the one to do it, even with a slow retrieve. And then this one is also a Vibrax, but it's a size 6. Fives and up are what I use. Um, but again, these are fluted and they ride high. My buddy, uh, this is gold. I don't usually use a lot of gold. My buddy got a pike this year that was 41 inches on the gold. Um, okay. Moving along. Well, these are two new Vibraxes I bought. Blue Fox. I like that color. And this pattern here is supposed to be like UV light sensitive or something like that. It changes its appearance and tracks fish, supposedly. Um... Those are threes. I use the. I bought those for walleye and for crappy, but you'll get pike on them too. Okay, we got my musky killer here. 
that's an ounce and a half. It's a lot bigger than it looks on Musky Magnum, um, that, than it looks on video. That's a big durable spinner. Um, they're good. I haven't, believe it or not, caught a lot of fish on them. I've caught a few. Um, the only thing is they tend to snag up easier in weeds or logs or whatever. They have a lot bigger hook. And um, Mep's Bucktails, you can't go wrong. I like the black. The black on black I like the best, I think. The black blade and the black bucktail. You got the white here and red with silver. Um, these are size 5, too. These are long spinners, though. These spinners are, you know, if you take the bucktail into account, they're 5, 5.5 inches. I've done real well with those. These are mainstays for pike fishing, I'm sure you know. My only drawback on these um, the pike the uh, the hooks are a little wide for me in the base they're not these wire hooks which I like better the wire hooks just stick right in these are a little thicker and they rust the um, when I say thicker the di you know towards the base the diameter gets pretty thick I don't really um, think they stay as sharp I sharpen them a lot these spinners here are eight or nine years old and I use them a lot so they are durable well that's about it so these are my top pike spinners um, give them a shot Johnny Mac out